Welcome to BitMovin's Video Tech Trends mini series. This series covers perspectives, experiences, and advice from the professionals in the video streaming industry. I am really happy and honored to welcome Dunya El Munfaluti, VP of Sales at Kino. So Kino provides a cloud solution to help media broadcasters and distributors deploy and enhance their own live and on-demand streaming platform. So Dunya, uh, today I want to ask you some questions surrounding one of the top video tech trends that we've even discovered in our annual video developer survey of over 700 professionals. And that trend is reducing costs of content distribution while building to scale. So would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> great, great. So the first question is, so as a CMS and video platform provider, you might know as well as anybody that there has been a massive growth in demand in the last 12 months. Can you tell me a little about the change in behavior you've seen across your client base and what are the needs they're addressing to rapidly scale? Well, indeed, it was a really crazy year, I have to say. Uh, we have our traditional client, uh, which noticed that, that more and more uh, users were coming on the platform, so more audience, more traffic. On the other hand, we have other type of client, new type of client, we were not which were not supposed to go online, like festivals, like um, training companies, like uh, mm -hmm. corporate gathering. They were supposed to have physical events with social interaction, but they couldn't do because of all the pandemic situation. So they decided to launch their own uh, video platform. So they, this type of, this new type of client, what they uh, need is huge volume of traffic on a short period of time. So there's two type of clients, so the traditional and the new one have the same type of request. They wanted to have a partner which is reliable in handling growing demand in a capable manner. So it means that for us, we need with our infrastructure to make sure that we can adapt to this ramp up, which was really important to them. The other one was the cost, obviously. They wanted, despite the huge volume of traffic, to keep the cost manageable. It was really important for them. So the fact that we were based on the cloud makes things easier for us to answer to these two needs. So that was, let's say, the main behavior of our, our clients. Very cool. And um, yeah, who doesn't want lower costs, <laughs> right? So do you think that going on the cloud effectively reduces the cost of content distribution? Well, yeah, I really think that the cloud solution is the right solution if you want to reduce your cost while doing your content distribution. Um, the very first, let's say, advantage is that uh, with the cloud, you don't have to purchase or maintain equipment. You don't need that. Uh, so it means that you will drastically decrease your um, your investment and your capex cost. So no hardware, no facilities, no building out uh, data center for uh, your growing demand. So no need to handle all of that aspect. So it will be the responsibility of your cloud provider. Another advantage which is really important and linked to the first one is you don't have to purchase equipment, so you don't need to have a large IT team to manage it, to do the optimization, to do the maintenance and all of these things. So once again, it will be your partner who will be uh, the one in charge. Lastly, I would say that with the cloud, you don't have to manage downtime situation, which is most part of the time very uh, time and money consuming it will be, once again, your cloud provider who will be the one in charge. So definitely going on the cloud is really the right solution if you want to decrease your cost and at the same time scaling up according to, the, to your business demand. So for instance, if you have business demands which is increasing, normally you just have to increase your cloud capacity without having to invest, invest sorry, on your physical infrastructure. I see. Um, so it sounds like you do believe that going on the cloud is the right solution for reducing costs. So I'm going to ask one follow-up question. What if the usage explodes in terms of audience and time duration? Does the pricing increase tremendously? Um, I would like to answer yes and no. Yes, it will increase, <laughs> but no, it will not increase tremendously. So let me maybe just clarify my point. Um, as a platform uh, owner, it's really important for you 
to try to get an idea of what could be your uh, your traffic. That's very important. So the first thing to do is really to monitor your bandwidth, your traffic actually, um, and try to see what you will uh, what ha has been your traffic during the past months. That's very very important in order for you to have a trend. The other thing that you can try to get is the analytics from Kino, from Bitmovin. You can get some analytics, audience statistics, from which you can do some analysis and try to figure out what will be the evolution of your audience. So with this analytics plus the bandwidth monitoring, you can try to figure out what will be your audience and so your traffic. And with that, that information, normally you're able to, uh, to have an idea of what capacity you will need uh, to answer to your uh, growing demand. So that's the very first thing to do. And normally, if you need more capacity, you will have a uh, higher pricing. But the unit cost, the price, the gigabyte, for instance, will decrease because uh, you will commit on a larger volume. So it means that normally, as you commit on a larger volume, your uh, unit cost will be less expensive. So yes, it will increase, but no, it will not increase tremendously. It will increase reasonably. But I really would like to remind something. Despite bandwidth explosion, it's really important to keep in mind that it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, because it means that you are successful. You're getting more mm -hmm. audience, you're uh, creating engagement with your audience. So normally, you're supposed to create a fund, to generate more revenue, which is a good thing. But us, as OVP provider, what we need to do is, during this growth period, it's really and absolutely important to propose, for instance, a better offer with larger volume, but we need to optimize our cost in order for our partners, our clients, to continue scaling up uh, their, their business. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dunya. So it sounds like it is the right solution um, going on the cloud to reducing costs of content distribution when some a company is building to scale. But it also sounds that it's important to do it wisely. And Kino can help with that, right? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you very much. So actually, indeed, it's, uh, we really do believe that it's, uh, it's the right thing to do, uh, going on the cloud, finding the right partners to uh, help you, I mean, uh, grow your, your business. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Dunya, for joining us today. And thank you for everyone for watching Bitmovin's Video Tech Trends mini-series. Stay tuned for our next episode. But in the meantime, check out the blog and webinars we've linked in this post um, on all top five video tech trends and to learn more about Kino. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good day.